My name is Jay Higgins, and I'm on I've Been Jamming TV. It's your boy, Tevin Sister Stutter. I'm here with my guy. I've Been Jamming TV. And we're joined by Rebuff, linebacker, top sacker, the man, Jay Higgins. How you yes, doing, sir. my guy? Good, good. Man, so you, you've been in a, a couple videos, man. Shoot, the Indy Star was last yeah, year. Yeah, that was hard. And then this, this I, I just dropped a new one, and then it's crazy, man. You had another one coming up. So it's like, man, how, how did it feel to be in the videos? I'm blessed. I'm honored. Uh, Tevin, you always passing out clout. Passing yes, out man. love, though. Oh yeah, that's what he, we seen him at, last time I seen him was at the, what, New Pal game? Yeah. He's like, let me, he's like, let me get a picture for some, he said, let me get some indie clap. <laughs> I like, I got you, my Everybody brother. I'm, I'm finna get the juice off you. Nah, you, you got the juice, man. So, who's your favorite athlete? Favorite athlete? I gotta do, go with LeBron. Just the way he carried himself. Let's go. It's three times. Let's go, today. <laughs> favorite team? Favorite team, like, for football or basketball? Football. Football. Uh. Uh, Carolina Panthers. They the linebackers. So. Oh, yeah. Luke Keekly. Mm -hmm. yeah. My man's Wilson Davis. Mm -hmm. it was, Luke Keekly went to St. X. I, want, I don't know if we. They said we played against him. I don't remember. But, like. He, he's on the Yeah. Yeah, they were serious. Yeah, St. X is always, yeah. like, when I was in school, they was, like, number two, mm -hmm. number one. They used to smack us, mm -hmm. bro. Smack and teach. Like, we could give it to any, any other team, but St. X? They would have been Davis one year, too. Bro, we used to, <laughs> used to keep boys that work. Man, so, basketball team, who your favorite hoops team? Uh, whoever LeBron playing for at the top. Man, this 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 man right here. I'm not like a bandwagon. Like, no, no. I just respect his work. LeBron fans. No, we, so you're LeBron, I'm a LeBron fan. We rock with you. We get we get Kobe and KD yeah. fans. Hell, so we LBJ man, hit you dog. Man, if, hopefully I, I I can't even speak on it because it, it it might or might not happen. But I'm gonna just go on to the next one. But it was some big stuff coming, man. But um, who's on the headphones before the game? Artists that you rock with, listen to. Rod Wave, he top right now. Oh yeah, he top. Give me give me your favorite one right now. Your go-to right away right now. Uh, Love is Poison. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, Heart for Sale. Yeah. It's on like when the slow beats go, like yeah. that's why I can slow stuff down. Yeah. Like really get hype. It's crazy how that works. Nah, I'm already doing right away. Give me, I listen to right away like every day. Yeah. Like, he, he just different. He right just now. drops on too. Yeah. From yeah. Misunderstood. Did you see his uh, tweet? Uh, yeah. He's about to retire. He, no, he tweeted that yesterday. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he was saying that's like, a block. little joke. Yeah. That's uh, a block. Oh, yeah, I already knew that was cap. He I was, was just saying that to build up his more fan base. Yeah, just, people, was just the people crazy. <laughs> I was there like blowing over for there like Jay, bro, I way retire. I was like, nah, I walked out of class. Like, nah. <laughs> he knew what time it was. He knew like I'm the hottest right now. Let me yeah. let me remind people. Yeah. So like that was, that was great marketing on his PR head. stuff. Now uh now P and B Rocket called him Ruben Stutter the other day. Oh. And I, I I tried to bake I I, I went out to P and B Rocket. Oh, I, I said I was like I said, yeah. boy, you built like Jeffrey the Giraffe. <laughs> 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 no cup for my customer. <laughs> But nah, man. Favorite moment of this past season? Uh, favorite moment? Uh, it was one hit where I squared a dude up, hit him right in the stomach, and threw up on the field. <laughs> <laughs> right after you hit him? Yeah, it was Oh, hard. Lord. <laughs> oh, man. I don't mean to laugh at nobody. But <laughs> that's a big time play. I, I've got a concussion in the game before, but I never threw up. <laughs> but uh, man, so funniest moment. That might be your funniest, too. Uh, Funniest moment, I'll probably say like in the locker room with the team, cause like we got dudes who think they can dance. Yeah. And like, <laughs> I they, can be to, they be trying to, they be trying to. Oh man, y'all know what the teacher, I already know, I have probably yeah. with. They think they can dance. Coach come in before the game, see them dancing. And as soon as we give up a touchdown, <laughs> y'all was dancing in the locker room. <laughs> So describe, man, give me a, a, a funny Coach Rustler memory. Because Coach Rustler, man, that's my guy. He was my office coordinator at Cathedral back when I was, we used to, our favorite play we used to run. I think I was talking to Trevor the other day, Rhino. That was mm -hmm. like my go-to. I'd be in that fullback. Yeah. we just come through cleaning. So, man, give me a a funny or just any any Coach Rustler memory. Uh, coach Rustler, he going to keep it real with you. Like, he go. He tries to like sugarcoat it for like some guys who just not there mentally yet. Yeah. But like if you real, he gonna be real with you. Um, I don't know. It's just like 
the way he like talks to us, like he making jokes with us. He like one of he one of the players. Yeah. Like his jokes are like they like you forget he's an adult sometimes. Yeah. So it's like it's from Oh definitely. Yeah. <laughs> he was my art teacher too, so I'm already doing how Hey, so we'll like we'll be making a play and it'll be on the board and like the squares and circles will be perfect. Like, be perfect. <laughs> oh, he's a he's a beast. Yeah. Straight lines. Yeah. He's a beast. <laughs> perfect. He a beast of art. He was speaking on that man. So what's the Man, your pops is the the most one of the most supportive people that I, yeah. I've met. So man, speak on his impact that he's had on your life. Yeah. Uh, so pops is a preacher, and he has been like uh, like preaching to different churches my whole life. So my whole life I've been like the church. And when football started, he like he put that to the side. I was like I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna be at every Friday night game and like every basketball game. I was just thinking the other night, I was like, I don't remember my dad like saying, son, I can't make it to like any game, no matter what. So like he had opportunities to go preach like on Saturdays and uh, Sundays and he turned them down for me. And he do like, he does a lot of stuff. Like he got his Twitter account and sometimes it's cringy for me. Yeah. But like, I know he's, it's out of love. I know it's support. So I kind of let him do his thing. That man, he different though. <laughs> that makes you go harder too, knowing he in the stands yeah. every game too. Cause well, that's I how my dad was too. He didn't, he didn't miss one game. I knew my dad was up in the stands watching. So yeah, I feel you on that. It's a it's a different kind of. I remember the first like varsity game I started. My dad was on the way to the game. He's like, "Well, I heard your name on the radio. I was shook." <laughs> so it was just it was just that father supporting that son. Man, it's just it's it's different. Like, and that's what something you want for your kid. Like, I can't wait to be my son in practice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm tired of seeing my dad. Why that every practice? <laughs> nah, he used to come every practice in the bleachers. Who I, I told him today, I was like, yeah, I got an interview with uh, uh, with Tevin. He was like, you want me to come? I was like, I'm cool. <laughs> I'm cool. I'm straight. I feel it. Man, in terms of motivation, who do you play for? Uh, I would probably say my dad and my mom. It's like my immediate family. Uh, it's like we all we all go through adversity and like only my family know like what we've been through and just to like say where I'm at right now is just like a blessing yeah. um, but like I play for my community I'm in like Rebuff like happy for the opportunity I got to go to Rebuff um, I just ball out for them what's the time that you overcame adversity? Um, I've had my shares of injuries yeah. but like if you like look at my stats, you can't tell because like I'm, if I get injured, I'm there the next week. So um, this year I pushed my collarbone back week three, and it was like we coming off Shatar, then we played Tech, and we played Cardinal Ritter. Uh, you know, like you get injured, and you get up, and like you feel you feel shaken up. Uh, it was just one of those where like I couldn't get up, and I didn't know if I was gonna be able to play the next week. And I just like asked my parents like what what should I do? How should I like how I, how do I feel? And the doctors was like you cool, but it's gonna hurt a lot. And I kind of just like put the pain to the side, took care of business. And speak on that man, twenty three tackles in a game. Yeah. What was you doing, man? Flying around uh, the ball like? Did you know they plays? Or, like you got a report? So some so some offensive coordinators they try to run for me. You know, like it's clear because like I know like once I'm from sideline to sideline three plays in a row, so I like I'll say something to them yeah. on their sideline, but they ran right at me. They was coming right at me. They tried to send their biggest dudes on me. Like, I just wasn't going. Uh, just being like dependable for the team. Like I know I'm that guy that yeah. they look up to. Like oh we good, Jay got it. So you just you just gotta like produce every Friday. Like it can get it can get tough. Like you can get in your own head, but you just gotta do it. And where was you ranked at during the season in the nation? I think it was like ninth or tenth in yeah. tackles, total tackles in yeah, the nation. Yeah. And like from that to the nation, like that's yeah. crazy. Yeah, just getting to the ball, just finding any way to get to the ball. Like I got this mindset where if I don't get to tackle, it's a touchdown. Right. So every play, like if I don't get the tackle, I think it's a touchdown. So I'm working every play, no matter what. That's real. I like. I ain't never heard that before. Man, so why Iowa? Uh, 
Uh, so I took a visit, a junior day visit as a sophomore, sophomore year. And I went up there and I was like, this is it. But like, they were slow with the offer. Yeah. So I, my recruitment kept moving on. But like, I knew, like I knew Iowa, I knew yeah. Iowa was the place. And then I knew uh, Tyrone Tracy up there. Yeah. <laughs> and then Juju, mm -hmm. uh, Justin Brent. I'm like, all these Indiana dudes up there. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, some, they must be doing something nice. Uh, so then they offered, and I took my official visit, and like after so many check marks get checked, at some point it's ready to pull the trigger. So I was I was just ready to commit. Uh, I also like I saw this as the first Big Ten school to like, take a shot on me. Yeah. So like I really really wasn't looking at anybody else after that. Like anybody trying to talk to me after Iowa talked to me, because I felt they were the first school to like. Yeah, really, show love. Yeah. They really was shooting with you in the gym. Yeah. They ain't the recruiting coordinator, man. They, that guy's the man, yeah. man. man. KB. Uh, yeah, he, 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 he yeah. funny, man. He, he he be on the Twitter, man. I, yeah. I talked to him for the past couple of years because he had so many guys come through on the show and all of this. So, like, shout out my man, KB. Yeah. Like, he, he, he funny, man. He came by the crib uh, last week for my own home visit. He yeah. Just like, it's like cool people. That's just, he just he's just good vibe. Yeah. He he was he was a he had seen the Mick video. He's like, oh man, we still doing Papa John's. I was like, bro, we filmed <laughs> this in 2017, man. Right? <laughs> but it's like, yeah, that's my that's my guy, man. So um, yeah. looking back on it, what would you tell the eighth grade version of yourself entering high school? Uh, keep my head down and focus. Uh, it's easy to compare yourself with like other people, and that's how like that steals your joy. Uh, and everybody's recruiting path is different. Yeah. Um, so, like freshman, sophomore year, like I was putting up crazy numbers, like working, and, like I wasn't getting no offers, yeah. and like I, that hurt me. Like I started slowing down. It's like maybe that's not for me, but it's like you never know. You never know what's gonna happen. You know what I mean? Yeah. And we we all play linebacker up here, so man, you prefer a three four four three. Uh, what's your 5-2? What, what, what's, what's your favorite defense? Uh, for both, we play, we play like a 3-3. Three, three. Yeah. Uh, and that kept, like, that kept dudes off me. Yeah. Until they started, like, double-teaming me and stuff. But, like, I like I like a 4-2, a something like that. So, you know, I can't get double-teamed. But I think they just double-teamed me this year because it's, like, senior year. Make yeah. sure I don't get my numbers. But he still got it. Yeah. <laughs> Man, any hidden talents outside of sports? Uh, like I, I hoop, but like outside anyway. of sports. That's oh, sport. okay. You say that. Yeah, you're right. Um, uh, I'm a real good fisherman. Yeah, like that's For my real? like every Saturday morning. That's why we seeing the pops with the uh, the yeah. pool, So okay. Yeah, every Saturday morning after a game, when it walks, uh, I'm going fishing. That's like, tight. That's man. my thing. What's the biggest fish you caught? I can show you pictures. Uh, pictures. Uh, it's probably like. Eight pounds. Eight pounds? Yeah, a little bass. So you go right to Long John Silver at the end. <laughs> <laughs> I'll release them. Got to release them. Yeah, so what's a quote that you live by? A quote that I live by? Uh, never get too high, never get too low. Make sure you're in the middle. When things are going good, like be in the moment, but make sure like you're ready for adversity. When things are going bad, know it's going to change. What do you want to study in college? Uh, animal science. Okay. What you want to do with that? Uh, I don't know yet. I don't know like what job I want yet from like out of there. But like, I know like once I get that uh, degree, uh, like I know I can go to, like anywhere I want. You know what's crazy? Two years ago we had Justin Brent on the show, and he was, was like like zoology or something. It was something to do with like sharks. Mm -hmm. What's up with you? Oh, I want the Hawkeyes and. Yeah, the the animals. That's uh, it. That's it. Now you really gotta ask. I'm gonna run the clip back. Like I'm gonna look at his interview tonight. And his was like sharks. I want to say because it just caught me so off guard. Mm -hmm. I'm like this big old office line. He's like yeah, I want to deal with sharks. I was like, but nah. So it's just that's that's a cool thing to show interest in something different because it's not the same. Everybody talk about oh, lawyer, doctor, this or that, and it's those are cool professions. But I love something that's. And that's yeah. definitely you. I've said I've interviewed like five hundred something kids, and only two of them that said something different. Yeah, like I well, really the KJ Glass one just did a veterinarian, yeah. but I thought like you got you got like science. I didn't mess with science. Oh yeah, it wasn't me at all. Yeah. But no, that's cool though. So shout outs, man, that you gotta get to the people. Uh, this say my family, 
Uh, number one, to my boys back in Rebuff who really hold me down. Uh, they always, they always there for me. Um, especially like they were there before the offense and stuff like that. So I gotta keep them close. That's real, man. We definitely appreciate you rocking Sorry. with us, man. Wish all the best moving forward. We can't wait to see some Hawkeye games, man. I know all the indie boys, man. Don't kill it, man. So yes, do your sir. thing on and off the field, man. I already know you know how to carry yourself, man. Keep, keep that swagger, man, in college, man. Can't wait to see yeah. them. Big numbers, baby. Yes, we out.